Okay, to get started, I just imported my green screen clip into my project, as well as the background video that I'd like to replace the green screen with. Let's begin by dragging the background video clip onto the first video track on the timeline. Then drag your green screen clip above it onto the second video track on the timeline. Next, right click your green screen clip on the timeline and select green screen. Okay, and just like that, I removed the green screen, but I'm noticing some weird outlining I don't like. If this happens to you, just reset the edge thickness and edge feather value over here. I'm also noticing that it made my background colors look faded. This can be fixed by increasing the offset, which will bring my blacks out more. So at this point, I think this looks really good, but let's talk about what you do if you still have some green screen in or around your subject. First, I recommend adjusting the tolerance slider. This affects how much similar shades of green will be allowed in your subject. Under that, changing the edge thickness will adjust how much of your subject's edge you bring into the shot, while the edge feather can be increased to soften up your subject's edge. One last thing I quickly want to touch on is what to do if your video looks fine while paused, but low quality while playing its preview back. Mine looks okay, but if this happens to you, it's just the preview not displaying properly. If you were to export it, the final video would look fine. One way you can make your video look better in the preview is by using this render preview button. This way you can get a result similar to your final video. Alright, and that's all from me, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.